to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Hello, my name is Aubrey. Welcome back from February winter vacation. Today is Friday, February 26th, 2021. It's a day one. We will have a fe February Friday at Manoa Elementary today. For lunch today, we will have cheese stuffed breadsticks with our spaghetti sauce, or peanut butter and jelly, or American cheese sandwich, all with applesauce and corn. Sounds delicious for Friday! Wow, did we have some snow for winter break? Did you have snow at your house? Yes, I think we had a shovel like eight times. We had a lot of fun being able to go outside and build things in the snow. You're right. We built a snowman and a sledding track. We braved the cold and had some fun. Speaking of the cold, did you realize it was almost 50 degrees this week? I did. It was surprising to see when the snow started melting. What will next week bring? Last week, we had a very appropriate character strength for this week. We celebrated and studied the strength of love. Love means you've had close relationships with others and being close to people. Love is very important to all of us, as it reminds us to keep the ones who are important to us as close as we can. How have you shown love this loving month of February? For our positivity project this week, we have been focusing on other people matter mindset, cheering others in their successes. Being happy for other people when they success isn't always everyone's first reaction. Often, it's easy to become jealous or envious of others' victories. Being supportive of people whose success is good for our mental, physical, and emotional well-being. Envy and jealousy often come from a common place, a sense of not being enough. When people cheer each other on, it begins a back and forth process that allows for stronger relationships. Let's all cheer our successes this week. Anyone have any good stories about how they received Bragging Dragons? Yes, I got one when I did my homework. Wow, that is awesome. Feel free to share a story with us about how you earned one. Do you know what else we celebrate this week? No, what? This week on Wednesday was the 100th day of school. Oh, that's right. I can't believe it's already the 100th day. The kindergartners were at it in full swing. Did you hear their outfits? Yeah, they take the 100th day very seriously by dressing up like they're 100. Also, we saw some of them in the hall and asked them to share what they planned to do when they were 100. They made nice pictures and writing pieces to showcase how they will look and what they will do, be doing in 94 to 95 years. Check it out! Hi, I'm Carter. I'm going to sit and sneak when I'm 100 years old. Hi, I'm Jane. When, I, when I'm 100, I'll read a lot. Hi, my name is Rylan, and when I'm 100, I want to read a book to my daughter. Hi, my name is Grace, and I want to bake some cookies when I'm 100. <laughs> Hopefully over vacation you were able to celebrate President's Day. For many years we celebrate Abraham Lincoln and George Washington's birthday in February, which we still do. In 1971, the federal government moved this celebration to the third Monday and called it President's Day. President's Day is a holiday to honor our past presidents in the United States. President, who's your favorite president? Before February is over, we would like to take a moment to honor Black History Month. So many African Americans have helped to make our country what it is, and have contributed in the areas of science, math, politics, music, and so much more of our culture. Although we celebrate Black History Month every day, it is nice to have a month where we put aside uh, some time to highlight these accomplishments. We hope you all had a wonderful February and we're able to learn some new facts about contributors to our society. Yes! Great job, students. And now for the joke. Why do bicycles fall over? I don't know. Why do bicycles fall over? Because they're too tired. Ha! <laughs>
<laughs> Have you heard of the Goth Serial Donation? No, what's that about? We're competing against Pine Grove Middle School to see who could donate the most cereal boxes. Oh yeah, I've heard about that. Once we donate a lot of cereal boxes, we're going to make a huge domino. And then we're going to donate them all to our local food pantries. Make sure they are full boxes. And you can donate now until March 5th. Go cereal, go cereal. Today we are lucky to be able to introduce you to one of our new student teachers at Manila this year. Miss V is here to tell us about herself and what she does here at our school. Who are you and what do you do here? Hi, I'm Miss V and I'm a student teacher from Syracuse University. What did you do before you came here? I was a student and I've taught at other schools before, but now I'm here working with Mrs. Klein. What made you want to come here to Manila? Well, I actually didn't get to choose my placement, but I'm so glad that I'm here now. What is your favorite subject in school and why? I really like ELA. I like doing read-alouds, and I like when my students are really engaged and having a good time. Um, yeah. Anything interesting that we should know about you? I'm from Long Island. Do you do anything for fun? When I was growing up, I used to do dance competitions, and I would dance Ooh. all week long and then do competitions on the weekends. That's so cool. Anything else that you would like to share? Um, I'm so excited that I'm working at Manoa, and I hope I get to see you guys around more. Thank you so much for coming to our school. We are so excited to have you here. Thank you for having me. That's our show for today. Thanks for watching. Be sure to show love. Cheer others when they succeed.